Okay, in this video, as you see, we're going to go over through, go over an example problem for discharging a capacitor. And this is a situation where we have this 470 microfarad capacitor, which has previously been charged by a 12 volt source. So there's 12 volts across the capacitor. And we're going to discharge that capacitor through a 57K ohm resistor. All right, so now these are the three things that we want to do in this video. We are going to determine what will the voltage across the capacitor be after one time constant. We're going to determine what will the voltage across the capacitor be after 20 seconds. And then we'll determine when will the capacitor be fully discharged. We're going to do all three of those things using this as our circuit diagram. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, the first thing is what will the voltage across the capacitor be after one time constant? Well, first we have to figure out for this capacitor and for this resistor, what will the time constant be? Well, the time constant is simply RC, which is the resistance of the resistor, times the capacitance of the capacitor. So we're going to multiply the resistance, which is the 57K, 10 to the third ohm resistor, and a 470 micro, 10 to the minus 6 farad capacitor. And we get the time constant for that combination of resistor and capacitor is 26.8 seconds. Now we can use our equation. This is the voltage across the capacitor with respect to time. And that is equal to the voltage across the capacitor, kind of the initial voltage across the capacitor, times E raised to the power of minus T over RC. RC is our time constant. And T is the time that we're going to have, that we want to know what will the voltage across that capacitor be. Now in this case, we want to know after one time constant. So the time is 26.8 because that's the time after one time constant and RC the time constant is equal to 26.8 so it's 12 volts times E raised to the power of minus 26.8 over 26.8 or simply 12 volts times E to the minus 1 and that gives us that 12 volts times 0 0.368 that means that after <clears throat> one time constant, the voltage across the capacitor will be 36.8% of the original voltage, the initial voltage across the capacitor, which is 4.4 volts. You can see here we have 36.8% or 0 0.368 times 12, and that means after one time constant, the voltage across the capacitor will be 4.41 volts. Okay, so that's number one. Now we're going to do it in terms of kind of absolute time here, 20 seconds. Again, we have the same capacitor and the same resistor, so we have the same time constant, 26.8 seconds. And so we're going to get, use the same equation that the voltage with respect to time is equal to the initial voltage across the capacitor times E raised to the power of minus T over RC. RC is still 26.8, but in this case T is 20 seconds. So it's 12 times E raised to the power of minus 20 over 26.8, which is E raised to the power of minus 0 0.75. And that gives us that the voltage across the capacitor after 20 seconds will be 47.2% or 0 0.472 times 12 percent, 47.2 percent of the original of the initial voltage of 12. And that tells us that after 20 seconds, the voltage across the capacitor will be 5.66 volts. All right? You can see this is less than one time constant. So the voltage is going to be greater than what it would be after one time constant, which I believe in the previous slide, after one time constant, we had 4.41 volts. All right? So now the last thing we're going to do in this video is we're simply going to figure out when will the capacitor be fully discharged. We know that one time constant is 26.8 seconds, and we really consider the capacitor to be fully discharged after five time constants. Okay, it's an exponentially decaying curve, so it actually never reaches zero in theory, but we usually say after five time constants, the capacitor will be fully discharged. That means we're going to just take five times RC, or five RC, five times 26.8, and that means that after 134 seconds, that capacitor will be fully discharged through that 57K ohm resistor. Okay? So there you go. We did all three of those things. The voltage after one time constant, the voltage across the capacitor after 20 seconds, and then the time it takes to fully discharge that capacitor. All right? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you do, please do all the following three things. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos.
Give me a nice thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.